Hello everyone. So today I'm going to make a topic about something that I always wanted to do, but I never done. I don't know why, for some reason, because it's it's super easy. It just takes some time. So this, yes, I know how it looks like, and no, I do not care. This is a temporary setup just for testing purposes, so don't worry about that. As you can see here in the back, I have a voltmeter and a clamp. I'm going to clamp my system, but in a bit of a different way. So we've seen videos online uh, when people clamp uh, the main power wire next to the battery and they play music and see how much uh, power it takes. But my purpose is a bit different. I want to know, I need to figure out how much power each component of the system uses. So how much tweeter uses, how much mid-range, mid-bass, subwoofer, and each amp on idle, and that kind of stuff. So uh, my thinking is, I'm gonna check how much the system uses on idle, so just with no music playing. I'm gonna have a reading from a voltmeter and some amps running through the system. And then when you play music, the amperage is gonna increase. And if you take that difference, you're gonna have how much the system is actually using, not idling, but like for actual playing music. So that's the idea. Now, I'm gonna try a few different things. I'm gonna try uh, pink noise, I'm gonna try test tones, I'm gonna try music and see how big of a difference it is. My suspicion is that for a tweet, it's going to be very difficult to register something. I don't know how it's going to be. I haven't tried it yet. So, uh, contingency plan is to clamp the speaker wires coming out of the amp and going directly into the tweeters. Because uh, I don't know if the amp meter is going to be the clamp meter is going to be so sensitive if it's going to pick up like maybe five watts or something i don't know we will see another thing is i'm going to try to measure my system as it is now uh with my tune and to be to be honest it's not that fair because every system is tuned differently and the fair way to do it would be to bypass all the eq and leave only the crossovers for safety and run through some frequencies. So I don't know, maybe it's gonna be every hundred, every thousand hertz, I don't, I don't know, we'll see. But it's gonna be just numbers. So let's try something and I'm gonna continue with my uh, experiments. Okay, so let's check something uh, as an example. So there's some glare on the screen, but you can see it. So uh, my battery is idling 12.6 uh, volts and uh, there's no draw, nothing. So let's turn on the ignition and the amps are gonna turn on as well. So the voltage dropped 0.3 volts and there we go. So it shows 6.2 amps. So that is the power that my uh, three amps and a DSP is using. So if I'm gonna uh, 12.2 times six amps, that's gonna give me what, 60, 72 watts or something like that. So this is the power that is drawn from the battery without playing anything. So now you can see it dropped because the amps probably went to sleep. So now what we're gonna do just for fun, I have a second phone here and I'm going to play some test tones. So the volume on my knob, it goes all the way up. However, I don't play it all the way up. So like, like at two o'clock, three o'clock is the loudest that I'm listening to music like on a normal recording. If the recording is poor, then you're going to crank it up full tilt. But this is like... This is like my loud, loud listening levels. So I'm going to crank it up a tiny bit more and I'm going to measure everything on the same level. So this is going to be like loud listening levels. Yeah. So let's play some tones. So 26 hertz. I don't know if you will be able to hear this. So look, we have the voltage dropped a bit and now I'm pulling 
10 amps. Yeah? If I'm gonna stop the tone, it's dropping to 6.2, so that's like four, almost four amps. So four amps times 12, that gives me 48 watts, something like that. So let's say close to 50 watts. So uh, my subwoofer playing 26 hertz at loud listening levels, is drawing 48 watts this is a prime example how i'm gonna calculate everything so now the fun begins i'm gonna make loads and loads of measurements and after everything is done we're gonna sit down and we're gonna run through everything so yeah wish me good luck and just a quick note this these measurements are not maximum power that my system can make or maximum draw that my system draws is just how much my system uses on loud listening levels so it's nowhere near or nowhere close to max and yes i will hook up my laptop to the dsp and i will disable all the eq that i've done and i'm going to leave only the crossovers for for safety and that's it yeah so just to make it clear it's nothing to do with max is just average or loud listening levels it's just a power consumption about that it's nothing like like clamping on a, on a burp test it's, it's nothing like that so yeah so it's not spl forget about it it's listening levels yeah okay so i'm back i did all the measurements and the only thing that I'm going to say is I will never, ever do that again. I want to swear, but I cannot because my head is exploding. Even with, with like protection earphones, it's just horrible, horrible, horrible sounds listening to sine, sine waves and tones. Oh, so I did this for you. You don't have to do it. Okay, let's run through some numbers. Um... So I showed you how I uh, clamped uh, the power wire and just to check my sanity, what I did is I clamped uh, the car next to the battery. So it gave me 24 amps on idle, which gives me like 300 watts. So it's like car with ignition on, uh, lights on as well, and uh, like no music playing, no aircon, no nothing, just, just the car itself. Then I turn off the lights uh, the front headlights it dropped down to 11 amps which is 143 watts and just to check the sanity so if i take this minus this and divide it in half it gives me 67 uh, 76 watts per bulb which is halogen bulbs and it kind of adds up so i can trust this it means that it, it kind of works then i clamped the whole amp rack which i showed uh, previously so it gives me 74 watts and then i clamped every uh, amplifier and thing that i have separately so dsp uh eats whole seven watts half an amp seven watts so up to 10 watts which is literally nothing now my uh, one of my amps uh, eats 18 watts on idle, the other one is 24, so this one is a newer one, so it's more efficient probably, hence less power. This one is older, so 24, and the monoblock, uh, 2.6 amps, which is 32 watts. Then I played uh, pink noise through the system, which is supposed to load the system like properly. So I did play it like loud as I showed on my like on my uh, volume knob. It's like at two, three o'clock, which is as loud as I would like to listen to for like 20 minutes or half an hour. So that pulled uh, 47 watts so this is uh, 10 amps minus the amp rack on idle so this is how much is going to the speakers it's 47 watts only if you add 
with the AMPRAC. So if I'm going to just remove this one, 120 watts with the AMPRAC idling. And then what I did is I went to the DSP and I removed all the EQ because I was uh, pulling a lot down. So I removed all the EQ and I removed all the um, filters. I just left the cross crossovers just for safety. And the thing is, when I left the same volume, it was so loud. I, I couldn't listen it for literally two seconds. So I just took the measurements and shut it off because it was so loud. You, you couldn't be listening to this. And it pulled if, again, minus the amp rack, 130 watts altogether. Now, bear in mind, my subwoofer is in IB. It's not in a box, it's in IB. That's why it pulls very little watts. And one of my mid bases is in IB as well. So now let's go to this. So these are, this is what took me the longest. So let me explain because these numbers are a bit, a bit different because when I put the sine waves, because you know, sine wave is, uh, has a bigger, much, much bigger amplitude. And basically on the same volume, I couldn't bear it. So I had to turn the volume down. So all of these measurements made here are made on a different level than these with all the system. That's why the numbers are different because I couldn't, I couldn't bear it. So I have to turn it down to like 12 o'clock on my volume knob, which is, would be like, I would say, normal listening levels for music, but for sine waves, it was just very, very loud. And I took all the measurements. So from this, let's start with a subwoofer. So I took from 10 Hertz up to 300 Hertz. And the biggest that I measured was about 20 Watts. Again, bear in mind, my subwoofer is in infinite baffle application, so it needs less watts, less power. And this is like normal listening levels, but for the sine wave, it was loud. I mean, not on the subwoofer, it wasn't loud, but on the mid-range, it was super, super loud. So I measured 20 watts, then mid-bass, one was in the door, the left one is in the door and the right one is in the kick in IB. And for some reason, they measured uh, differently. So let's take this one, the right one, which is uh, the biggest I measured, 10 watts. And again, it was crossed at 70. So I couldn't measure anything lower because the amperage was too low. And I couldn't measure anything above 4K because the amperage was again too low. So. I don't know, I don't remember if I mentioned, this was measured on the speaker terminals, not on the power wire, but on the speaker terminals directly. So 10 watts for the mid base, and for the mid range, it's about five watts. And for the tweeter, because uh, basically we need more resolution on the amp meter, on the clamp meter, because you see 0 0.17, 0 0.1 is literally nothing. So 0 0.3 watts on the tweeter. So from all of this, it's, it's, it's not to um, pay attention to these numbers as like what's what, but as how they compare to each other. So like if you take uh, mid range and a tweeter. So you see it's almost 10 times the difference in power. If you take mid range and mid base, it's like two times the difference. But again, my setup is a bit different because my mid range is a five inch. So it's, it's not a regular two, three inch, which would have a higher sensitivity. So it would probably pull less. In these measurements will be like maybe like two three watts something like that and subwoofer 
is again twice or compared to this four times as much as the mid base and again my subwoofer is an infinite baffle application so it's a bit different then i played same pink noise so on this i measured through the power wire and these I measured on the speaker terminals and it was on a lower level. So for some reason, pink noise is, is very, very low. So like subwoofer, only two watts on mid base 0.6 on this one and one, this one, 1 1.5 watts on this one 0.2 and this one literally barely could pick it up. So if I combine all the pink noise, from these measurements, it's five watts only on normal listening levels, not that loud. If it's very, very loud, then it draw it hops up to, if I just remove this one, it hops up to like 50 watts. But still, this was an eye opener for me that, um, speakers don't use that much power. And I think the amps on idle, if you combine all of them, like 74 watts, it's almost the same as the speakers playing even more than the speakers playing themselves. So amps by themselves draw more power than speakers, which is weird. So uh, I'm not going to say it was fun experiment, but yeah, it has to be done. So I hope you learned something from this. If not, I just saw some numbers. I know it's a lot of numbers, but I, I think I condensed it for you. And yeah, I will never, ever do this again. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.